when it rains it pours and sometimes it's a good thing in this instance it is I what we're looking at here is a whole bunch of trades and um, trade slash store credit in one buy so all these CDs over here all these CDs I'll explain to you what they are piled up as all of those I purchased actually there were more than this uh, there was two boxes about roughly about 200 a little less than 200 CDs purchased it for two uh, twenty dollars and I went through them at those yesterday today is Saturday I'm sorry today's Friday November 10th 2023 I got all of this stuff yesterday so I got that for 20 bucks this was a repeat customer who brought in a bunch of stuff to get credit and then put it applied it towards what he got this is someone who brought it in for trade and this one our store credit and this one is for store credit as well now this one was also store credit but that was from a different uh, a different day so just talking about these four um, it's some really good stuff in here it's kind of a, a, a variety of items but as an example this one is really good so I'm gonna list these on eBay for $50 turns out that these called girl grooves is all three of them uh, go for good money even individually I saw a couple that were selling just two of the volumes and uh, I think I'll be able to get it for that amount but I'll take offers as well that was a really good pickup and all this stuff's going in the store there's a bunch of blu-rays and then there's a bunch of beavis and butthead so there's all of these and then uh, the collection the Mike Judge collection volume one and a bunch of other <clears throat> DVDs and a couple of books but mostly DVDs from that so that was a really good pickup that was from someone who comes in probably about I don't know it's been about three or four weeks once a month or so I don't see them weekly I don't see them every two weeks but about once a month I would say uh, and then someone brought in this stuff baby Einstein this is a, a VCD which is a video CD uh, if you come across these don't discount them because I've sold quite a lot of them they're mostly gonna be in um, Chinese Vietnamese Korean that type of stuff they're essentially DVDs but they are a video CD which is just a slightly different format <clears throat> but some of these can go for good money I'm gonna list that one on eBay and then I got Little House on the Prairie, Season 3, a couple other Blu-rays, Blazing Saddles. Um, this one, this, the, the discs are pretty messed up. I, I cleaned as many of them as I could, as well as I could. But uh, I'm debating about whether should, I should list it or not. Because <clears throat> I don't know if it's really worth it to, to risk the return. And also to test some of them. Just might take too much time. And this doesn't go for nearly as much as it used to. It kind of varies basically like 15 to 20 bucks sometimes more obviously if it's brand new in great condition this is not so got that this is come unglued <clears throat> but it appears that all the DVDs are in there so that's a good thing and then these are from a customer all of them are gonna go in the store so there's a bunch of blu-rays <clears throat> that I haven't had before again I love to get new stuff that I haven't had in the store um, I love to put more Blu-rays because a lot of people like to buy Blu-rays and just a lot of different like there's some horror some action a variety of different titles in there as well when I glanced through all of these CDs when he first brought them in I wasn't super confident about about having much interest in them and I offered him <laughs> 10 bucks for both boxes and then he said it was too low but I said okay that's fine but then he was going to leave, and then he uh, said, hey, what about 20 bucks, $10 a box? So I agreed on it. Turns out there was uh, a couple of items that are going to be good to sell on eBay as well as on Amazon. But this whole this whole stack here is going in the store. These are all like Sinatra and, and a variety of stuff. Um, Miller, Pavarotti, Lisa Marie Presley, and this one is... Uh, electronic and all of these are different genres that are going to go in the store so that's a nice little stack there uh, there's a good amount of electronic stuff there's also some movie um, soundtracks 
some jazz and variety of other other genres so what i've done here is i've stacked up the opera cds classical and the christmas and also the other benefit of these were they were in excellent condition i only think there was a couple if even that maybe one or two yeah maybe one or two cases jewel cases that actually had cracks in them and the cds are immaculate so the owner took great care of them they came from an estate sale this guy uh, works with a state sale company so he gets a lot of stuff that way so all of these three uh two of the christmas the christmas and the classical i'm going to add to my growing collection here of classical and then i think down below there's christmas as well basically i'm going to sell those locally which i did a couple weeks ago and it worked out really well um but i put them up for sale locally so like offer up facebook marketplace that kind of stuff even craigslist and offer a ridiculously low price but yet something that i don't mind getting so like as an example like a hundred classical cds uh for 20 bucks kind of a thing so pretty low but considering that i have a ton of them and these aren't even from the gaylords that i stopped going through because i keep getting so much stuff in the store which is great but it's preventing me from <laughs> continuing to go through those gaylords but because i have so much excess uh and i find that it's it's more of a pain to ship it on through ebay sell it and ship it on ebay than it is to try to sell it locally so I'll just offer it at a, at a super low price. Anyway, as a side note, so I'm building those up and um, gonna gonna sell those. So these three are going on Amazon. Elliot Smith, I wasn't familiar with, uh, a rock singer, died young, died in his early 30s apparently. But these two are gonna go on Amazon, not for much, but I'll make around four bucks on them when they sell. This one, Lisa Marie Presley, is a one that's a little more rare. And going, I'm going to list it for $23.40 currently. Very good condition. Um, so this one's more in demand than the other one that I found of hers. Because this one apparently they didn't print nearly as many. I've never seen this one before actually. I looked on eBay. Prices are pretty high too. However, the last one that sold on eBay was 8 days ago. So it looks like the demand has gone down a lot. But yet on Amazon there still seems to be a higher demand. So I'm going to list it on Amazon. See how it goes. Hopefully I'll be able to get a decent amount for it. These are all the ones that I'm going to be selling on, um, what do you call it, on eBay that came from that CD lot. So this first one, I'm going to list for 20 bucks, plus shipping, taking offers. It's two box sets, so it's basically, if you're familiar with, or if you've gone through a lot of CDs, you've, you've seen this logo, the Laser Light, or Laser Light Digital. And these are two great condition box sets. Interestingly enough, and, and also, before I... So it's, there it is. So it's volume one through five, and then volume six through 10. Um, and they're in great condition. So when you look them up on eBay, this one is like priced, the lowest was like 15 bucks, going all the way up to 20 and, and higher. But it hasn't sold in the last 90 days. But yet I didn't see any that were combining the two of them. So. It's not a super like flyer that I'm taking, but um, I'm banking on having both of them together being in great shape. I'm pricing it at a competitive price, taking offers as well, and seeing if I can move it, uh, move those. I can put them in the store, but I'll see what happens on eBay. Then these are all individual CDs I'm gonna list on eBay. This one and this one are electronic, EDM, etc., house, techno, rave, all that kind of stuff. This one $21.99 plus shipping, taking offers. This one on the list for $29.99. This one seems to be really uh, sought after and pretty rare. I believe there was only two on eBay currently. Um, and neither of them, that's right. I'm remembering now. One of them was priced around $25, but it was not taking offers. And the other one was $69, not taking offers. So always take offers, at least that's my opinion, to always take offers because you just potentially can miss out on sales. So I like to do that and we'll see if we can move it. And then this one is, I believe it's big band, I believe, but it's pretty rare according to my research. Um, and the one on eBay is like 50 bucks or 45 and it hasn't sold. And I looked on Am or eBay, sorry, Amazon first and it's priced high, but hasn't sold as well. So price is a little bit lower at 29.99 taking offers. See if I can move it. 
this was kind of the the best one here it's called thumping disco quick quick mix i played it here in the store it's it's disco <laughs> a continuous mix um and yeah i'm gonna list it for 49.99 plus shipping taking offers it is only available only a couple of copies available and they are pretty priced pretty high so I feel pretty good that I'll be able to sell it. The one on eBay is being uh, it, it is listed from a Goodwill in Colorado. They have no photos, um, and it's like fifty something, over fifty dollars, like fifty five, fifty four, something like that. But um, I feel, yeah, feel pretty good. I'll be able to sell it. So that's what I pulled out of all those CDs. Um, I haven't even gone over that with you guys. It's a bunch of other stuff that I'm gonna list on eBay that came from another trade uh, as well so i also got these donations in today donations dvds there are also some books um i went through the books already but these dvds i just started to go through so those are pretty cool some tv box sets as well as uh, movies and then this one was a trade which is really awesome because there's blu-rays which i love there are some graphic novels and there are video games Video games for me are the hardest to find um, for you know a good price that I can that I can sell sell it in the store and I just I know there's I have a high demand for it people that are always looking for them so that was exciting there's Xbox One there's PS4 and there's even a Switch game so that's cool as well so yeah I feel like uh, uh, I just uh, in a good way been bombarded <laughs> with a lot of people visiting the store bringing me stuff, calling me on the phone, asking if I buy stuff. I feel like maybe Google has sent me more traffic uh, when people are searching for bookstores and record stores and all that kind of stuff. So it's been really good. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.